It's time to play Family Feud. Get up for Steve Harvey. I appreciate everybody. Thank y'all. I do. I appreciate it. Well, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. Oh, we got a good one for you for today. This is a good one. Returning for their fifth and final day with a total 60034 bucks from Marietta, Georgia. It's the champs. It's the Van Horn family. And from Atlanta, Georgia, it's the McClinic family. Everybody's here trying to win some cash. Somebody named the Van Horn family wins today's game. They're going to drive out here in a brand new Nissan X-Terra. So let's get it on. Give me Carissa. Give me Katie. Ladies, we got the top six answers on the board. Name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked. Carissa? Laugh! Laugh! Pass a play? Play. They're gonna play. Hey, Carissa, how you doing? I'm doing good, Steve. Introduce to your family. Well, this is my cousin, big brother, my hero, Cedric. My father, Sam. My sister, Christina. And best brother-in-law, BJ. Welcome to the show. Cedric, name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked. Look away, look away. Sam, name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked. Get naked too, get naked too. Christina, name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked, call 911. Call 911. BJ, name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked. Take a picture, send it to everyone. Take a picture, send it to everyone. Carissa, only one strike. Name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked. Faint. Faint. Cedric, we got two strikes. We got to be careful. The Van Horn family can steal. Ignore nothing. Ignore nothing. Nothing. Name something you do if your boss showed up to work naked. Leave. Leave. Number five. Let's go on to question two. Give me Cedric, give me Jake. <laughs> Gentlemen, top seven answers on the board. You just opened a store called Steve Harvey's R Us. What does it sell? Cedric? Razors. Razors. Ah! 
Jake. Pass the play. Play. They're gonna play. Sam, you just opened a store called Steve Harvest R Us. What does it sell? Jokes, jokes. Number one, Christina, you just opened a store called Steve Harvest R Us. What does it sell? His books, his books. BJ, you just opened a store called Steve Harvey's R Us. What does it sell? Suits, suits. Good answer, good answer. Mm. Carissa, you just opened a store called Steve Harvey's R Us. What does it sell? DVDs from the shows. DVDs from the shows. Cedric, only one strike. Selling bold caps. Selling bold caps. Mm. Sam, we got two strikes. We got to be careful. The Van Horn family can steal. You just opened a store called Steve Harvey's or Us. What does it sell? The Family Feud Home Game. The Family Feud Home Game. You just opened a store called Steve Harvey's or Us. What does it sell? Mustache. Mustache. Number six. Three. Van Horn family got 116. McClinton family not on the board. The goal is 300 points. Don't go away, so we're coming right back. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. Van Horn family got 116. McClendon family now on the board. Give me Sam, give me Jason. <laughs> Gentlemen, point values are doubled. We got the top eight answers on the board. If Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Jason? Lexus! Lexus! Sam? Toyota! Toyota! Uh, Matt? Corvette. Corvette. Christina? Pass the play? We're gonna play, Steve. They're gonna play. Joe, if Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz.
KT, if Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Cadillac. Cadillac. Jake, if Steve Harvey offered you to ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? All right, Jason, only one strike. If Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Bentley. Bentley. Matt, if Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? BMW, BMW. Joe, if Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Ferrari, Ferrari. Katie, we got two strikes. We gotta be careful. The clinic family can steal. If Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Cherokee. If Steve Harvey offered you a ride, what kind of car do you think he'd pick you up in? Maserati, Maserati. Number eight. Seven. Two. Van Horn family got 216. McClendon family not on the board. And remember, if the Van Horn family wins today's game, they're going to drive out here in a brand new car. We'll find out. We'll be right back right after this. Closed captioning and sponsored in part by... If the Van Horn family wins today's game, they're going to drive out here in a brand new car. Let's go see. Give me Christina. Give me Matt. Guys, point values are tripled. We got the top four answers on the board. We asked 100 married women. Name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. Matt, divorce, divorce. Pass a play? Play, they're gonna play. Joe, we asked 100 married women, name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. Dismember, dismember. <laughs> Katie, we asked 100 married women, name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. No sex, no sex. Jake, we asked 100 married women, name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. Lose everything, lose everything. Jason, one answer left. If it's there, your family 
wins the game, your family can drive out here in a brand new car. If it's not there, you still alive. One strike. We ask 100 married women. Name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. Sleeping on the couch. Sleeping on the couch. Matt. If it's there, your family wins the game. Your family can drive out here in a brand new car. But this time we got two strikes. If it's not there, the McLennan family can steal and play sudden death. We talk to 100 married women. Name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. They need to move out. This is for the win. This is for the car. They need to move out. All right, McClendon family, here's the situation. I got one answer on the board. If it's there, your family steals, your family gets the chance to play sudden death. However, if it's not there, the Van Horn family wins the game and drives away in a brand new car. Carissa, we ask 100 married women, name a specific punishment for men who cheat on their wives. The silent treatment. This is for sudden death or not there. The Van Horn family wins the game and drives out here in a brand new car. The silent treatment. For sudden death. Number four. We'll be right back. We're gonna play Fast Money from $20,000 in the trunk of the brand new Nissan X-Terra. Welcome back to the feud, everybody. The Van Horn family just won the car. And now it's time to play Fast Money. Mm. You ready? Ready. 20 seconds on the clock. Name something a really old man might have that's also really old. Shoes. How long does an office romance remain a secret? One month. Fill in the blink. Ground blink. Ground hog. Name a part of the body it hurts to fall on. But name a hopping creature you wouldn't want hopping on you. Frog. Name something a really old man might have that's also really old, you said. Shoes, survey said. How long does an office romance remain a secret, you said. One month, survey said. Fill in the blank, ground blank, you said. Ground hog, survey said. Name a part of the body it hurts to fall on, you said. But, survey said. 
Name a hopping creature you wouldn't want hopping on you, you said. Frog, survey said. <laughs> All right, Katie. Yes, sir. Matt got 116 points. You only need 84 points right now. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. Don't duplicate the answer. You do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. Hear another answer. A little time this time. we give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yes, sir. Minds everybody of Matt's answers. 25 seconds on the clock. Name something a really old man might have that's also really old. A cane. How long does an office remain... Uh, excuse me. How long does a, an office romance remain a secret? Six months. Fill in the blank. Ground blank. Zero. Name a part of the body it hurts to fall on. Knee. Name a hopping creature you really want hopping on you. Grasshopper. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. Here we go. Name a really old man. Excuse me. Name something a really old man might have that's also really old. You said. A cane, survey said. Clothes and shoes, number one answer. How long does an office romance remain a secret? You said. Six months, survey said. One week. Number one answer. Fill in the blank. Ground blank. You said. Zero. Survey said. Groundhog. Number one answer. Name a part of the body it hurts to fall on. You said. Knee. Survey said. But was the number one answer. We need 30... Five points. Name a hopping creature you wouldn't want hopping on you. You said Grasshopper. We need 35 points from $20,000. Survey said Kangaroo was the number one answer. Well, $5 a point. That's 212 bucks. They got a five day total, 60,212 bucks. And the Van Horn family is driving home in a brand new car. We're gonna have two brand new families to play Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey, we'll see you next time folks.